Welcome back to another Medical School Headquarters Review. I'm your host, Ryan Gray. Today we're going to be reviewing the Anytime eCourse from MPREP. You can find MPREP at MCATQuestion.com. You might know of MCATQuestion.com already if you've subscribed to their free email question of the day service where they email you an MCAT question straight to your email inbox. It's a great service if you're a couple years out from uh, from preparing for the MCAT. I would suggest you go sign up early. There's a, a lot of different services that offer this. I like MCATQuestion.com because of their programming that in the email, you can actually select the answer right in the email. The other services don't let the, let you do that. You have to go outside of the email to the website, answer the question. With MCATQuestion.com, you select the answer you want, and it'll take you to the... It'll still take you to the website, but it'll show you if you've selected right or wrong. But today, we're actually going to be reviewing the, one of their e-courses, and they have three different e-courses. And today, we're going to be reviewing the Anytime e-course. It's an on-demand video lecture series for the MCAT. They do have a couple other courses that they offer, and the main difference between the Anytime eCourse and their other two courses, the Comprehensive and the Premium, is the fact that the Comprehensive and the Premium also offer live online lectures as well as access to office hours. With the Anytime eCourse, you don't get the live online lectures, you don't get office hours, you, you still get access to the instructors, but the Anytime eCourse is mostly a do-it-yourself program. One th thing that all three courses, all three options offer you is access to the eight official AAMC MCAT exams to help you prepare for the real thing. Let's take a little behind-the-scenes look at what you would see inside the course. Looking at the course materials, you have all eight weeks of lectures. Each of the lectures are broken down into a Session A and Session B. Each of the weeks also has an assignment that's uh, assigned for you to do, and then they give you the solutions so you can check your answers. And one of the things that I kind of didn't like with this system was the fact that you had to download software to be able to run the recordings of the lectures. It's the, and the download is only available on Windows and Mac. So it's not something that you can watch on your mobile phone, Android or iPhone, or, or any other mobile phone out there. Looking at the screens, you can see that there's download links for everything. And this is one of the other things that I didn't like with the system that they have in place. And when I talk about system, I'm not talking about their, their actual material, but just the way to access the material. So it's more of a, a system issue than it is the actual material that they're teaching you. So when you download something, you have to uh, click to download and it takes you to a different website. And when you go to the different website, you have to enter a password, and then it'll download. And so it's, it's a little clunky, the fact that you have to keep going in and out and download the stuff that you want. But in the end, you get the materials that you need, and you learn what you're supposed to learn. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the lectures. Hey there, and welcome to session 8A. In today's lecture, we're continuing on looking at some of the core body systems that we need to understand for the exam. And we're going to start off by looking at the digestive system. So like when we were looking, for example, at the reproductive system, we're going to need to know the gross anatomy here, as well as the physiology associated with that. All right. Through the esophagus, it's going to end up in the stomach. Now, Let's switch gears here and talk about the urinary system or the renal system. So this is the basic work area 
that you'd be working in, either on your Mac or PC. It contains a slideshow area. It has a video of Alec talking. And it has a little table of contents. So this is where you're going to be working for the most part when you're going through the lecture series. And all in all, the, the lectures are great. It's broken up in a logical way so that you can go through, figure out areas where maybe you're weak in, and go highlight those areas so you can study those a little bit more. I, I think overall the material is, is excellent. Let's take a look at Alec explaining a question in depth. Go ahead and think about this problem. All right. So what's happening here? Well, I mentioned that the enzymes are being produced in the pancreas. What enzymes are these? These are digestive enzymes. These are enzymes that float around the solution and cut up cellular structures. So we've got a problem with the pancreas, and that is if we're producing these enzymes in the pancreas, how do we protect the pancreas from getting digested, right? And the way that we protect it is by getting the pancreas to produce an inactive form of the enzyme, what we call a zymogen, okay? And the zymogen is only activated when it's needed. Pepsin is very much the same way from the stomach. Pepsin isn't active until it gets into the stomach acids. So it's released in the zymogen form to protect the structures that produce it. And therefore, our answer here is to prevent damage to the pancreas. Okay? Now, let's look at these other answer options just to make sure that we're on the right track. So for A, prevent damage to the stomach lining. All right. If that were true, First off, we already know that the stomach lining is covered in a, in a mucus to protect itself. But if that were true, right, it wouldn't matter anyway because the zymogen, the trypsinogen, is released in the duodenum, and that's downstream of the stomach, right? So even if releasing it in the zymogen form would theoretically protect the stomach, it doesn't matter because the stomach never sees trypsin. This is all happening downstream. All right? For C, decrease the length of time of digestion to gain efficiency in nutrient absorption. Well, decreasing length of time would probably decrease the efficiency of absorption. The longer it takes to, for the food to pass through to digest, the more time it's, it's there and it has to spend with the microvilli to absorb the food. So more time equals more efficient digestion, more efficient absorption. So C is kind of the reverse, all right? And therefore, our answer is B. So let's talk about who this is for. There are obviously a lot of programs out there for MCAT preparation. And there's three people that I think this is for? I think this is for people that are self-studiers, people that, that don't necessarily like learning from others. I know it sounds kind of weird, but there are those kind of students out there that, that would prefer just learning from the book than going to a lecture. I think this is an excellent course for them. I think this is great for busy individuals, maybe somebody that is doing this as a second career and they're studying for the MCAT in between work and maybe taking care of their kids and other obligations that they have in life, and they don't have time to go to a dedicated in-person course or they don't have time to actually meet for the, the live online lectures that MPREP offers. So this, the self-study, the Anytime e-course is great for these individuals because they can jump on at night when they have an hour, learn whatever they have uh, to learn, whatever's due that week, and, and go from there. It's, it's great for those students. And the other person that this is good for is somebody who's a little bit more money conscious. Let's be honest, MCAT test prep is expensive. 
And it's one of those necessary evils out there because the MCAT, as of right now, is it's still one of the biggest hurdles to get into medical school. And everybody wants to do well and needs to do well. And along with that comes preparing for the actual test. So any any self-studiers, any busy individuals, and anybody who's a little money conscious, that's who it's great for. Let's talk about some of the the cons of the MCAT Anytime e-course from MPREP. I, I already mentioned most of them, I think. The fact that it's Mac or PC only to view the actual lecture recordings, I think that's that's a big downfall. Hopefully, in the future, they'll offer a way to view this stuff on an iOS device or Android device. I'm biased towards iOS, so a- any device. It, and the other thing is really just how clunky it is to initially get the downloads of the materials, whether it's the recording, the lecture slides, or the the student notes, the fact that you have to go to a different website, enter a password, and get that material. If if they offered it to download straight from their site, it would it would be a little bit easier. If the lecture slides were built into their web pages, it might be a little bit easier. But those are just some nitpicky things, uh, kind of workflow issues. The materials, like I said, are, are excellent, so there's not an issue there. Remember, one of the things that's keeping the cost low for you is the fact that they are a small business. They don't have the kind of overhead that the bigger test prep companies have. So while it's not as polished maybe as some of the bigger companies, they are, are keeping costs down for you, the end user, without sacrificing the material and the the type of studying that you can actually get out of this. Let's talk about some of the pros of the Anytime eCourse. First of all, you get access to all eight official AAMC MCAT tests, practice tests, which if you were going to buy separately would cost almost $250. So that's awesome. When when you're studying for the MCAT, as you'll learn, it's the actual taking of the practice test that helps you the most. You have to practice how to take the test to actually do well at the test. So you get access to all eight of those tests. It's inexpensive. Now, don't mistake inexpensive for cheap or not quality because it is the material is good. So... It is inexpensive, so that's awesome. And the actual teaching by Alec is is good. He goes through the slides. He goes through questions, ha- has you think about the questions, teaches you how to think through the questions, and during it gives you some tips and tricks on the, the thinking and the logic behind the MCAT because it it is a question... It is a test more about comprehension and not necessarily knowledge. It's how you apply your knowledge and reading the questions and and learning exactly what they're asking. So that's the MPREP Anytime eCourse. I think it's a great course out there for certain individuals. If you have any questions, I'm sure Alec would be open to answering any of those questions, you can email him at info at mcatquestion.com. You can email me, ryan, at medicalschoolhq.net if you have any questions.